again. I'm back for another Video Games Monthly unboxing. Uh, this month I've actually got two boxes. Uh, one I actually got last week as a holiday gift box from Jonathan Polin. Uh, now I opened that one already because, you know, I got it at 11 o'clock at night when I remembered I hadn't checked the mail yet on Saturday and I didn't really feel like making a video. So, just to recap on what I got there real quick because it was a really badass box. First up, I got a 1-up, so he sent me a 3-up, Video Games Monthly. Decided to send me an extra one in there, just for good measure. Definitely got more than the, the value of the box yet again. Uh, we've got our decals that they gave. I'm sure I probably have another one of these in my current month's box that I haven't opened yet. They currently have a contest going on where if you put the decal on your car and some free advertising. They've got a whole crap ton of games, like $100 worth of games they're giving out. I actually have most of them already, so that topped with the fact that I, I don't really want to put decals on my cars anymore. Um, I've had bad luck experiences in the past. Uh, I'm going to sit this contest out, but uh, a lot of people are already playing it, so good luck to you guys. All right, then, uh, so I got four games in this one. First game I pulled out of the box was uh, this one here. It's uh, awesome. Final Fantasy Anthology. And if you can tell, it is sealed. So this is brand new and sealed. I, I, I mean, that's awesome. I love the games on here. Final Fantasy 4 and 6, two of my favorites. And it's sealed. I'll open the seal eventually when I get to playing these. I promise, one day. Uh, the next one I pulled out was uh, Blue Stinger for Dreamcast. Um, I actually never played this game before. Uh, I've never even heard of it, but I looked it up and uh, it looks pretty badass. It's kind of like GoldenEye meets other things trying to be GoldenEye, but with better graphics. So that's pretty cool. And it's complete. Everything's in there. Amazing. I also got, uh, now this one isn't complete, it's just a loose disc, but we'll call this the one up, and really it doesn't matter because it's a badass game anyway. Twisted Metal 3. I mean, who doesn't like to drive around and shoot people with missiles out of your, your car? I mean, sounds pretty cool, right? So, that was the third one. And then I've um, updated my wish list recently because I have a new collecting goal for my Nintendo. I want to at least for short-term goal, because I'd eventually like to own all of the games, but I know that's going to be a long ways away, because there's a lot of really expensive and rare games that um, I probably won't get anytime soon. So my short-term goal is uh, collecting all the movie-based games for the NES. There's about, at my last count, like 64 or something like that. I have about 13 or 14 of them, so i got a little bit of ways to go, and there's a couple pricier ones, but nothing too ridiculous. Um... Video Games Monthly has delivered on this one. They gave me Platoon. And I've never played this. I hear it's a, from, from some comments on uh, my original post for the picture, that it's a, it's a clone of Friday the 13th, which is a pretty cool game. So this should be pretty cool as well. So those are the four games I got for my Holiday 1-Up box. Again, thank you to Jonathan Poland. That was a very nice surprise to find in my mailbox. All right, so on to the current month. So this one I have not seen yet. Hopefully it's good. I'm sure it will be. I never get disappointed here. Now I subscribe to the 3UP, which means I get three games. And sometimes, as you saw, they'll get generous and they'll throw in an extra one or two or three sometimes. Never something I'll argue with if you want to throw in some free games. All right, so we've got our box, videogamesmonthly.com. Let's see what we got here. First, I uh, always pull out the cards and see what we got. It feels like multiple cards. It is. So I got another decal. And I'm, I'm sure I'll put these on something. Uh, you know, I've got places to put decals. And we've got a one-up, so I should have four games in this box again, which is, again, never something I'm going to argue with. And then, of course, the update your library card, and thank you for subscribing. All right, so let's get to the first game here. This feels like an NES. It is, and we're still on the movie theme here, so this is another wish list item. Home Alone. 
That's awesome. It's actually a really cool game as well. All right. Off to a good start. Let's see what else we got. It feels very Super Nintendo-y. So let's see what we got here. Oh, this is awesome. I was just talking about this the other day. This is actually my favorite out of the entire series for this generation between NES and SNES. It's Mortal Kombat 2 on Super Nintendo. For some reason, I've played both of them. Genesis, just, I mean, it's good. But this one is, is definitely better. It's got a better feel to it. So that's awesome. Two for two on the wish list so far. And that's in pretty good condition, too. All right, I feel like I got a PlayStation game here. All right. Uh, Gran Turismo 2. It appears to be complete. Uh, well, it's got the it's got the discs, which you know shouldn't need really that many instructions. It's a pretty simple race game. Um, probably one of the better ones before they started getting a little ridiculous. Uh, awesome. Again, I love cases. <laughs> All right, I should have one more in here. Let's see. This feels like it's got to be a GameCube game here. Let's see. And it is. Super Monkey Ball Adventure for GameCube. These are awesome games. They've got a lot of mini games in here. I've never played this one before, but I've definitely seen some gameplay on it before. And this one is complete. So we've got the disc and the manual on that one. So awesome. Um... I am not disappointed with this box. It should be everything except the bubble wrap. There we go. So, just to recap on this month's box, we have Home Alone on Nintendo. We have, and this is probably my favorite out of the whole box, Mortal Kombat 2 for Super Nintendo. Wish list item. Gran Turismo 2. For PlayStation mm -hmm. 1. And finally, Super Monkey Ball Adventure for GameCube. So again, awesome box. Uh, very happy with this one. Doesn't say Partners Pack on anything here, but you know, it could qualify. Thank you again for watching. If you like it, go ahead and subscribe or give me a like or give me a dislike if you don't like it. That's cool too. Thanks for watching. See you next time.